All right, so we've got the code we need here in the .htaccess file. And uh, really quick, I want to kind of walk through what's going on here. So basically on line one, and well, really between line one and line six, we're checking to see if this module, mod rewrite, uh, is up and running. And if so, we want to turn the rewrite engine on. If we're going to be doing clean URLs, we still want to be able to, if we have to, um, run just a regular file, like for instance here, index.php. Um, or if we had another file name, like something.php. We don't want to lose the ability to open that just because we're doing the clean URLs. So that's what this first one's checking. It's saying, make sure that this is not a file name. So, for instance, over here on our front end, if we type in simply home, well then, it's not a file name. It's going to check, make sure that's not a file name. It's not, continue. Now line 4, it's going to check to make sure that what we've put in is not an actual directory. So, for instance, we do have an images directory. So if I type this in right here, it's going to make sure that we can still access the images folder or directory. And then lastly, the rewrite rule. If you and if you haven't noticed here, rewrite condition. So this is you know it's kind of like an if statement in PHP. It's basically saying if this isn't a file, if this isn't a directory, then go ahead and do this. And the, this is the rewrite rule. And it's basically going to send you to index.php as long as it is not one of these two things, a directory or a file. So in the case of us typing in home, both of those conditions will be false. So it will go ahead and redirect us to index.php, only not really redirect um, because we're not changing the URL or anything like that. It's just going to run index.php for any other case. And that's what we want. And then that's what gives us the ability to go ahead and use PHP to handle everything that comes after that slash. So everything from this slash on, we're going to be able to do something with.